Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about the biggest electrical mistakes. Now you should avoid making these electrical mistakes at all costs because they can cause some really bad things to happen. The first mistake is making an electrical connection without an electrical box. Now the electrical box serves a really important purpose. If something bad were to happen with the electrical connection, you know, something like a spark, let's say, then that spark would be contained within the electrical box. So it is very important to ensure that your electrical connections are made within an electrical box. The second mistake is cutting electrical wires too short. Now, oftentimes when we are doing the rough version of the electrical wiring, we cut the wires thinking that we will have enough length, and then when we actually go to make the connection at a later time, you know, sometimes the wires are too short. They have been cut too short. Now, my rule of thumb is to leave more than enough wiring, more than enough length, um, when you are doing the rough wiring and then when the time actually comes to make the electrical connection I always like to leave to cut the wire so that it it comes out past the electrical box by about three inches and then that always leaves me with enough wiring to work with and you can always cut it shorter if you need to when you're actually making the connection it's better to have extra wire than to be looking for wire that you don't have because you cut it to be too short the third mistake is having loose electrical outlets now sometimes when you go to plug an appliance into an electrical outlet you'll notice that it is very loose and that can be a problem because when the outlet is loose there's a chance that the electrical wiring connection to the outlet um, may also become loose and that can cause an arc which can lead to many many bad things so it is important um, to have very secure electrical outlets and make sure that they are not loose at all. The fourth mistake is installing a three-prong outlet where a two-prong originally was without actually running a proper ground wire. So sometimes we have these older style two-prong outlets and you want to plug uh, a device into that outlet that has a three-prong plug. Um, so you, you know, sometimes homeowners simply replace the two-prong outlet with a three-prong outlet without actually running a proper ground wire. Now this is not a good idea because, you know, homeowners do that so that they can actually plug the three-prong plug into the outlet, but the actual uh, outlet and the uh, device itself that you are plugging into that outlet will not be properly grounded and this can definitely lead to bad things. The fifth mistake is installing electrical cable without a clamp. Now sometimes people run electrical cables into an electrical box and they don't use a clamp because um, sometimes they run out of clamps and they think it's okay to install the cable without a clamp but that can cause many bad things because that cable is not secured properly and it is very loose within the electrical box and many bad things can occur from this simple mistake so avoid it at all costs the sixth mistake that I want to address is overfilling electrical boxes. Now, electrical boxes have uh, a capacity, a maximum capacity, and sometimes people overfill them because they don't want to go through the hassle of taking the necessary steps to run a new electrical box or an additional electrical box, but that can once again cause bad things because there are maximum capacities on these electrical boxes for a reason and if you don't follow these max capacities then many bad things can occur and you definitely don't want that to happen. Um, so avoid overfilling the electrical boxes at all costs and definitely, definitely, definitely um, keep 
the maximum capacities of the boxes in mind when you are making the electrical connections within them. And those are basically what I consider to be the biggest electrical mistakes that you should avoid making. They can cause a lot of damage and a lot of danger and you should avoid making them at all costs. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.